Hey guys. Hello guys. <laughs> we have Lucky <laughs> 10 feet away and he's sleeping. And he's sleeping. And the last thing we want is him to come sniffing and busting in trying to get our dinner. <laughs> so here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Kaki tell you guys and show you guys what she's got going on because she's got a, a very good looking, very good smelling meal going My on. dinner smells amazing. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. I don't think mine's gonna be good. Go ahead, shoot so, for the stars. It's your big chance, kid. All right, well, I have chicken sausage that is jalapeno, no, not jalapeno. It was chicken sausage with pineapple and bacon. And then I added roasted peppers, uh, onions, oh, and then I put some jalapenos on there. And then I put some teriyaki sauce as a sauce because I felt like it needed something. I was like going to debate on cheese, but I didn't think it needed cheese. It just needed a sauce. What's up, Chris? So. Evening, Kaki and Jamie. Kaki, my... Well, hello, Chris. My, How my, are you? My veggie shakes taste like sour milk. Yeah. Sour milk? Yeah. Do you not wash these good? I never wash it. It's all, it comes pre-washed. No, the, the, the shaker. Uh, it went through hey, the Allison. dishwasher. Okay. Something funky in there. I'm still going to get it down. Hello, Allison. How are you, girl? All right. Uh, listen, you don't even have to say I owe Kat's dinner wins tonight. I'm gonna, I'll am i even pick uh, her meal. But I really wanted Yours to try this. Yours smells really good, though. Technically, we could go ahead and say that this is protein, cheesecake, chocolate chip cookie, French toast. Now, yes, it has powdered sugar on it. The chocolate <laughs> chip... The chocolate chip cookies are sauteed in light butter, and the chocolate chip cookies are actually protein cookies. Lemon Larry's, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, um, Lemon Larry's, yeah. Yeah, and then the, the French toast is stuffed. It's two slices of bread stuffed with cream cheese. It's gonna be, so I think if I didn't use the cheesecake um, jello, the, 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 the uh, powder, the uh, cheesecake, uh, pa uh, powder. The jello powder. Yeah, in the thing, because that's the thing that's throwing me off with the smell of it. And there's cinnamon in there. We'll see. I'll let you go for. Oh, and then I have a raw. Uh, not a raw. Well, it's not raw. A... He has like my last chicken sausage. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Jamie? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Hello, Jamie. How are you? How's life treating you? Go ahead, Chico. Eat. Eat. Do you oh. want to try mine first? No, I'll try mine first. Go ahead. Uh, let me get Are you that. sure? Yeah, go ahead. You've never had some bread hot dogs? Really? I used some bread hot dogs for the first time tonight. So good. How have you never had some bread hot dogs? What? Christian, what is your normal dog? Yeah. Like what, what, I'm wondering. What are you, a Nathan's guy? Don't say. Don't Listen, say, I like Nathan's too. There's nothing wrong with Nathan's, but Sabret's like the way to go. Don't you say you're a ballpark Frank guy? I hope you. That's not what you're gonna tell me. Sabret. Doesn't New York City do, do Sabrets? Isn't that their main mm -hmm. hot dog? Yeah, usually. I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Swiggles. I've never even heard that brand. <laughs> <laughs> never know. even heard that brand, Chris. No. But I, I, I mean, listen, they, maybe they're good. I don't know. You know, when I first, my first low calorie hot dog, when wow. I started dieting, good. Yeah, I bet it's good. Um, jealous. I'm jealous. Um, when I first started dieting, one of the first low calorie hot dogs I found was a boar's head. It was like 90 calories a pop. And they were delicious. I stuck with those for a long time. And now I can't, well, not now, I don't look for them anymore, but I, the last time I tried finding them was years ago. I couldn't, they were hidden. Oh, Boris had hot dogs are really good. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm gonna let TikTok in. I gotta get the, I gotta get these nasty things down. Go ahead, because I got the hiccups. I'm gonna let TikTok in, you gotta do your phone. Have you got what like the uh, cheddar dogs, uh, Jamie? You mean like the Oscar Mayer? Oh, no, the cheddar dogs. Yeah. Yeah. We've had the cheddar dogs. Mm -hmm. I like Oscar Mayer wieners. I actually have an Oscar Mayer cheese dog uh, idea. 
I got a couple ideas, bro, and I just didn't want it. A lot of my ideas have somewhat of the same ingredients. And for the rest of the week, well, actually, Friday's, Friday night's pizza yeah. idea is going to be very simple, but I think you're going to get it right away. And you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I need to try this. And yes, it has to do with jalapenos. So I'm excited for it. <laughs> Yes, it has to do with jalapenos if you didn't understand Jimmy's burp. I'm on a jalapeno kick. All right, let's let oh, TikTok in. Oh, my thing fell apart. Damn it. Oh. Here we go. Three, two, one. We are alerting your followers that you are live, baby. Is you almost You're live, me? pal. Uh, how are you able to talk and burp? You know what? I really don't know. I've been doing it since I was little it was you know what I, I guess I'll say this it comes out um, as I'm burping I just I never stop talking hello MB I never oh hello, hello MB how are you girl hey Marie I never hello what, Marie I couldn't even tell you the first time I did it it was in Georgia I know that and I just I was burping and I just decided to keep on talking and then I oh wait no Yes, and then I, I tried doing the, I tried doing the alphabet, and I got A B C D however along. I never did the full a alphabet. What's up, Matt? But that's yeah. Oh, hello, Matt. It's just something I've been doing, and I've been doing it, my, you know, as far back as I can remember. That's talent right there. You think so? It's funny because I don't like burps. Like I don't like. Damn it, this one too. Maybe the spinach went bad. I still gotta get it down. It's brand new. I just bought it. Gone had a good vacation. Don't talk to me right now. Uh. In Transverse City, Michigan. Oh, you went on vacation? Hell yeah. Good for you, girl. What keeps you guys humble and grounded? Well, I was. I, um, I've humbled myself because I was a real jackass back in the day. And I never want to go back to being like that. I was a on, America's Got Talent. Why for his burping? <laughs> I would, you know what? I and I always say this because you know I do believe people change, right? And I was a real schmuck. I deserve to get my butt kicked more times than it actually happened. And um, that's an amazing burpist. <laughs> the amazing burpist, Jamie. Family <laughs> So I just, you know what? At the end of the day, I would, I would want to treat someone like I would, I want to be treated, you know. And I, I don't like mean people. I don't like cocky people. I don't like people that think their shit don't stick. Yeah, I don't like people like that either. Listen, I like normal people. So, uh, uh. some chick on this other live was doing. Hot dogs with spaghettios on it, gross. Well, I wouldn't hate on that. Hot dogs and spaghettios. I don't think that's gross, to be honest. Jamie's done it. Yeah. Uh, hello, Bam Bam. How do you guys? How did your hair stay so long and healthy? Trust me, my hair is not healthy, Jamie. Might look it. Looks good on camera. These headbands look good on camera too. But hello, Bam Bam. Get a closer look. You'll see the split ends. You'll see the, 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 the dried up glue. I really wish you guys could see my headband better. Um, it's gold, yeah, green, his, his headband pink, looks awesome and orange, tonight. but it's too bright of a color for you guys to really take it in. Currently sitting at Taco Bell. Well, aren't you lucky? In the parking lot eating Taco Bell. Very nice. Hi, guys. How you doing? We're doing good. How are you? Hello, Chris. Um... Yeah, no, trust me. Hello, Norvine. And, and Jamie, Hello, that's the truth. I wish I had a healthy head of hair like Kaki. Her hair, she's a freak. She's got nice hair. Like me? I mean, I wish my hair was nice. I mean, it may look nice on camera, but it's honestly really not that nice. Your hair's it's, nice. It's very, no, it's very dry. Okay. Well, and I literally Jamie was try trying to give us compliments. Well, I'm thank you very much, Jamie. I appreciate that. It seem but like you're blind or something. I'm going to tell you. It may look nice, Hello, but it doesn't feel nice. <laughs> the green juice, what is it? Question mark? Um, it's vegetables. All vegetables in a juicer. I get three of these big bad boys in before each and every meal. Even on the cheat weekends, which, yes, I go... Um, Hello, Kilo. 
I go a little crazy there. Jamie, how was your run? run? And what is your excuse? And what's your... My run was good. Well, why, why wouldn't my run be bad? Or why would I have an excuse for my run? My run was really good. I was, I was very motivated tonight. If you guys saw my running video and remember what I said, I meant every word of it. Manifesting it. Putting it out there in the world. Gotta believe it mm -hmm. for it to happen, first and foremost. In the heat you wear a ponytail? I normally do, but... When I'm in the house, I don't. When I'm outside, it's just like, my hair's like goes, poof. <laughs> All right. My hair just is that tight to the point where it hits humidity. It's just like, poof. Ladies Doesn't and, matter. Ladies Doesn't and matter. gentlemen, boys and girls, children, all ages. It is now time for me to try this. Oh, yeah. Here comes Lucky Dude. He knew. He knew the cue. Uh, TikTok, guys, if you guys are just joining, this is... Chocolate chip cookie cheesecake French toast. I made it. That's not that, that whiteness that you're seeing in between the bread is 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 um. Oh yeah, Bam Bam RAC has been six been fixed for a while now. Yeah, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> How do you think it's gonna be? One to ten. I will be honest with you. Where do you we, we get our recipes from? We make them ourselves. Yeah. These we'll are our own my recipes. Noggin. Jamie's noggin and my noggin. I was I was originally gonna do BLTs tonight. Hello, user. That doesn't. That bite doesn't count because. Some recipe. I don't think I got a lot of it. Let's get a little bit of a cookies. All right. Kaki, would some. you pass me the syrup, please? Sure. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to battle this, right. this dog the entire night now because he's gonna hop up on me. We gotta do this right. Yeah, just push him down. Bam, bam! I started a new job, so I don't hardly get to watch anymore. Get down. No. Get down. It's okay. It's okay if you can't watch. Our it's special. fine. You could always watch the replay. Like on YouTube or whatever. It's fine. You don't have to join the live. You don't have to see me be bombarded by a dog. <laughs> Alright, Chico. There you go. Get you some, some special chocolate chip protein crunchies in there. No. Hey guys, what's up, Cortland? Honest opinion. What do you rate it? And then I'll give you my honest mm. opinion. Yeah, it's freaking good. I, I didn't think I was going to like it. It's amazing. I know you didn't think you were like, that's damn good. Yeah. Wow. I give it a nine. Mm. It's good. Let me try yours. Go ahead. What do you rate yours? Nine out of one out of ten. Mine, I would, I would rate like, like a seven. Got. Sausage and peppers, hot dog, or sausage and peppers. I would rate mine dog. like a seven. Mine has a whole bunch of flavors that like work together. Yours is good too. Hello, Jason. Welcome. You did a good job too, Kagi. You, you really taste the teriyaki. Well, yeah. Only you have to have the teriyaki with the chicken. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yours is good too. Uh, evening, Kagi and Jamie. Hope you Having had a, a great jalapeno. day. Jamie, you should do a cookbook. And Hello, Nancy. On every page, face different paint and clothes. What? Can you? I, I might have read that wrong. Did you? Can you see that? Jamie, do you, do you think you could deliver a hard punch? Like a work punch or a... <laughs> like Jamie, a you should do a cookbook. Uh, every page, face, di different paint on clothes? I think you meant paint different... I don't know what that meant. Different headband, like colors? What's up, hot chop a lot? When you mean work, do you mean, when you mean can I throw a hard punch? Yes, glitzy, glitzy, that is French toast. Jamie has French toast. Jamie, we need a cookbook and a headband website, lol. I'm working on a Patreon. It's technically here, but I just don't get it. <clears throat> Hello, Michael. I'm a I'm chef. I'm a chef and would love to cook with you all. Aww. Very cool, Mary. Chef, so we have a couple of chefs that, that come in here. Um, are you, uh, what kind of restaurant are you a chef at? 
I'm late, but hi guys. Hello, Angel. I meant to have different face, face paint and cool styles on every page. We'll see. I mean, okay. Chef Khaki, well, hello, Team Angel. Jamie, what's up? Um, so, hello, Milo. You know, the, cook, Again. the, the cookbook is going to be more of a Patreon. I don't think anybody's going to give me a book deal. <laughs> and uh, Hello, I think Margo. Patreon's the easiest and fastest way to get it to you guys. Where's your red juice? Right here. <laughs> Margo said, how about I got a waffleizer and I made a few things. <laughs> I have a waffleizer too, and I haven't used it in a while. Jamie has not used the waffleizer, thank God. Maybe next week. I hate cleaning that thing. Maybe next week. I was going to use it the other night. Hey, Jamie. I am... Um... Why can't I read Hold tonight? On. I am opening a restaurant, and you inspire me on comfort food. That came from Kilo. Very cool. Congratulations on uh, opening up your restaurant. When's the grand opening? It's yeah. hard to clean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, this French toast is really good. Oh, I know it's hard to clean. There were points in times, Margo, where I thought Jamie's waffleizer was going to take a bath. Mm hmm. Kaki hated that thing since day one. Take a deep bath. September Plunge. 1st, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Congratulations. I bet that was. Let me say this. <clears throat> Number one, congratulations because chances are this was a dream of yours and you chased it down and you got it. So if this is your first restaurant you're opening up, big congrats. I hope you have all the success in the whole world. <clears throat> what kind of restaurant is it going to yeah, be? Yeah, I wish you like the best. I really hope everything works out for you. <clears throat> it's easier to clean while it's hot. You are correct. I know you said comfort food, but... 100% correct to clean while it's hot. Mm -hmm. You What's have up, to, Rebel otherwise Beast? it's impossible. Hello, Rebel Beast. How are you? It means a lot. You're welcome. <clears throat> Rebel Beast, what's going on? What's cracking, man? Hello, Ruthie. Hey, Ruthie. We've never eaten at Coney Island before. I've never even been to Coney Island. Neither have I. That's how you know we're New Yorkers. We've never been there. <laughs> yeah. Just like we've never been to, you know, Ellis Island. We've never seen the Stat Statue of Liberty either. That's how you we know went on a cruise first. and we passed the Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah, but, but we've never been there. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I've got the biscuit, but no waffle iron. Oh, you've got the biscuit, but no waffle iron. Country cooking is your specialty. Very nice. No, Coney Island is a restaurant based out of... Detroit, Michigan? Really? I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that either. When you say Coney Island, like we're from New York, so you say Coney Island, we think Coney Island, like the island that, you know, they do the hot dog eating contest, they have the Ferris wheel, you know, that's what we think of. Hi, Abby. Macho Man, Macho well, Man Abby. Savage you know is alive. Girl. Hello, Holbrook. What's happening? How are you? <laughs> is the French toast stuffed with cheesecake? The French toast is stuffed with cream cheese. The cheesecake mixture is in with the batter. On the outside. Yeah, and then it's sauteed uh, protein cookies uh, that I did in butter. It's good. It tastes really good. I would I'd give this meal a nine. Oh, it, you lived in Staten Island for four years. Okay. That's how you know we're from New York. We've never been there. <laughs> hey, hey, Jamie, do you think Ric Flair will be in shape for his match? In wrestling shape? Yeah. I think he's going to be just fine. Hello, Ariel. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be just fine. I cannot wait for this freaking wrestling show. Yeah, I always knew you cook for two. Jamie cooks for one. And then I cook for myself. Cortland, did you see how I made this? Came out good. The videos were like... Videos... I'm not super proud of the video you have to see the first one first to understand what it exactly it is and then tomorrow I'll post the full um, the full thing together on Instagram I did um, I can't wait to see it yeah I can't listen I'm such a big Jeff Hart uh, Jeff, Jeff Hart uh, Jeff Jarrett fan and I love how they're doing this 
I really do. I can't wait to see what the show is going to look like. Um, it's I just I'm, I can't wait. I would not pay two thousand dollars a ticket to watch it. It's funny, I, Rebel Bees. I, <coughs> I. That's how much they're charging. I wouldn't be surprised. I, That's that was, ridiculous. That was the event that I told Jimmy. I said, "Hey, if I said let's go to Nashville for Ric Flair's last match, would you want to go?" And he said, "Yes, he would." Jimmy would do anything for me, anything in the whole wide world. I know he would have went. How do you like living in Coney Island? We're you not don't. In Coney Island. And you know that. You know that. <laughs> <clears throat> My wife would kill me. Yeah. Well. Well, that's a lot of freaking money. Two thousand dollars to go see a wrestling show is a lot of money, and um, uh, it's gonna be, it's the hot ticket. I mean, I think that show's got more buzz than SummerSlam. The guy that pro that is promoting it, Conrad. Put a lot into it, a lot into it. it won't and get I there and make it. I think it's gonna be. A, I think it's gonna be great. <clears throat> you know what, Court? I thought about it, but then I didn't play, just because I never win anything. I never do. I never win anything. I do not. I and do I know the, you have to be in it to win it. What? The Mega Millions. Yeah, we don't and play. And I never either. play. No. But sometimes when it's up there, I will play, just in hopes that I'll win, but I never do. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be on pay-per-view. You can get on, um, you can get on Fight TV. It, 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 you can get it everywhere. I'm ordering it. I'm watching it. And trust me, I don't have a lot of money this week. So... I think what I'm going to do, I'm, and I'm, and SummerSlam is on, so it, it's still, I don't know how exactly it works, I don't know if you order the, the, the wrestling show and you get the roast as well, the night before, I hope I don't have to order two pay-per-views because I want to see the roast as well, roast of Ric Flair, that's going to be good, I'm looking forward to that just as much as I'm looking forward to the actual wrestling show, I played again, 10, We'll see. We'll see. SummerSlam's on a Saturday. So maybe I'll do Buffalo Knots this weekend. It is the well, time. Well, we have a birthday party on Sunday, which you knew about. Whose birthday? Ethan. Oh, I don't have to go to that. You said I don't have to go to that. Then don't. Then don't go. <laughs> but you were invited. I... I get and I it. RSVP'd for us, but all right, don't go. What time is it? From one to five. Oh, okay, I'll go. It's so. not in the afternoon. Okay, that's fine. It's not in the it afternoon. Like, I thought it was like a nighttime. Thing. And I said that to you the other night. I don't even remember talking. Oh, about I it know you night. don't. <laughs> and had a wrestling party cookout. Sounds good. Sounds like fun. My son is a football player and loves watching y'all eat. Very cool. Very cool. How old is your son? I really I did myself again. Had to make up from last night. Last night's dinner wasn't exactly a creative masterpiece. And maybe you guys have noticed, maybe you haven't, but these last like two weeks I've been I've been playing not playing, I've been putting out some 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 good jams. Uh, good recipes, like very creative recipes that is not seen um, at all. Who's, when have you ever seen someone saute combos? <laughs> this guy, and it was good too. They were good. They were really good. I don't think I'm ever going to beat the, that meal again. Oh, the hot dog meal? The jalapeno cream cheese hot dogs. How long do you run? Uh, I'm hurt right now, Ronnie. So right now I'm like doing four miles. Oh, Cord, happy birthday. Thank you, doll, for the gifts. It's Cord's birthday. Happy birthday, player. You've been in here for a half an hour. Happy birthday, Cord. I just saw Marie say happy birthday. <clears throat> that means I gotta oh, sing happy birthday to you. I gotta sing happy birthday to you. I feel like I have to sing happy birthday to Cord, too. <clears throat> is technically, is it today? Or was it, because we're eating at midnight. So is it 
your birthday on a Thursday or is your was your birthday a Wednesday? Court, when exactly was your birthday? Well, she said, Court, happy birthday. I know he said, I can't remember what he said, to be honest. I, I, I've got such a bad memory. Hello, oh, Mickey. I'm here for it. He's waiting for the happy birthday. You know how Jim Carrey goes, Scott Paul? July 26th. So your birthday was yesterday. No, your birthday was a couple of days ago. Wait, you weren't here on your actual birthday? I thought you, um... It's the 28th now, but his birthday was 26th. <sighs> I don't have my microphone. Um, I guess I could just she not don't need have it. Yeah. All right, Cortland. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I like to give you a very special birthday. Um, never done that rendition before. That's no. only for you. No one will ever get that that one again. Kaki's turn. <laughs> Sorry you didn't like it, Jamie. <laughs> Happy birthday, Court. Mwah. Happy belated birthday. I like to listen. Jamie, be... Jamie, be really wants your brother to... What? Jamie, he really wants your brother to sing to him, Antonio. Oh, yeah, well, he's no. not home. He's not here. Otherwise, I would have, I would have arranged much. that for you, Court. But he's not here, <laughs> <clears throat> and he would have done it too, because <laughs> he's a good sport. Who? Your brother. My brother. Yeah, he's a good sport. He would have done it. Probably. I don't damn. Oh, really shit! That was wonderful. I'm happy you liked it. <laughs> I'm happy you liked it. Happy birthday, Court. There's only a few people that I'm gonna do a sing. Uh, um, uh, a special happy birthday to, um, you know, I could add a uh, not your normal happy birthday. Uh, that's a lot of French toast. The Lux style would eat it. You would eat it. Yeah, these are cheesecake French toast, homemade. A la me. A la Jamie. I do need more syrup. Can't have enough syrup. Never going back to sugar-free syrup. Just not happening. Well, yeah, no. Well, that's what happens when you eat too much sugar-free syrup. You guys syrup. remember the last time I, I overdid it? <laughs> Jamie used a whole thing of sugar-free syrup and whole then had the poopies. Not only that, I had a <laughs> bellyache the next day for work all day long. And it was like those, you're walking and all of a sudden it's almost like you get stabbed in the stomach. It's like that sharp pain. And it just hurt like hell. Sugar-free syrup will get you. Yeah, a whole. Yes, it will. On a whole, a whole different level. Whole bottle. A whole bottle. Anything sugar-free like that you would eat too much of will have a laxative effect. <laughs> Even Go if you read like the back of like the sugar-free like chocolates. Going to the bathroom that didn't bother me. It was the sharp pains. Well, yeah, you get really bad cramps because your stomach isn't used to handling yeah. things like that. I just woke up sicker than a dog. Oh, feel oh, better, I'm Mr. Sorry. P. Feel better. That sucks. I'm sorry. You gonna call in to work tomorrow? Take it easy. Listen, I'm due to call in to work. I'm not done dealing with people's crap. I was thinking about leaving. No, I'm gonna call in. I'm calling in on Saturday. <laughs> I had that meeting this morning, right? Went to work early. Oh, yeah. How was your meeting? I forgot all about it. Bullshit. Like I said. Usually. Listen to what they had to say. I get what they were saying. It was, everybody was there. And then, um, I'll tell you this. I wasn't expecting my boss to, to like, at the end of it, kind of look at me and go, and ask me if he, if, if I felt like I got my point through. Like, almost asking uh, if I did a good job with the meeting, which I'm very close with my boss. Uh, both of them and uh, I'm like yeah I, th I thought you got it you got it you, you know crystal clear and uh, then I wound up having a freaking weight not their fault there's uh, other shenanigans going on that I had to <laughs> hang around for uh, bam got you two five 25 K legs 
What's well, that? thank you, the doll, for the birthday cakes. Thank you, girl. Appreciate that. Thank you guys for the likes. Does your boss watch your lives? I hope not. I talk mad shit about it. <laughs> One of them. One of them. Not both of them. One of them I talk a lot of shit about. <laughs> he knows what I do. They both know what I do. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. Listen, guys, it takes a lot to sit through one of me and Kaki's dinners. It if does. you guys are joining us on a whim and you're just scrolling and you pop in and you see us and you say, oh my God, these guys seem like fun. Yes, we are. But if you watch us on YouTube and you see the first five minutes, ten minutes, it takes a little bit of a push for us to get rolling. Yeah. Well, obviously, you have to push the ball before it starts, you know, roll and like pick a momentum and, you know, crap yeah. like that. Yeah, and if we don't have anybody to talk to, and it's just me and Kat, if we know going into a live stream that we're going to have nobody to talk to for oh, some hello, reason. hello, Alice. Hello. Um, then we'll make it work. But if we're in a live and, like, no one wants to talk, it's kind of it, it's kind of discouraging. Like, oh, no one wants to no one gives two shits about, you know what I mean? Uh, and that used to happen to us all the time. All the time for the longest oh, time, you can catch me talking to herself. <laughs> I say this all the time. I have to. I would have to make up comments and act like it was pretending. Yeah, like to, he was talking to somebody to keep myself entertained, and then whoever was watching the next day to keep them entertained. Hello, Mint French. Hello, Kelly Pup. How are you? Hello. And I missed somebody. Hold on. Hello, Bonnie. I might as well tell you guys because I'm not going to do it. I don't think. No, you guys are YouTube legends. Well, Jamie, I, Viking, wouldn't, go that I far. wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't say that we're YouTube legends. Like, we're YouTube people. I wouldn't say that we're legends. There are people that start <laughs> YouTube channels and then two months later, they've, get, they've got all these subscribers. We've been doing this for almost five years and I think we, we're not even at 3,000. Mm-hmm. But there's an audience and it's fun, so that, that. But we have people to talk to, and that's yeah. fine. Yeah. And that's that's like our goal, like to talk to people. Hello, <sighs> well, you guys are great. Thank you, Jamie. Very nice of you to say. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes I could only watch this the day after. Yeah, it's no problem. We that's never fine. expect anybody to join us live except Jimmy Jam. That son of a bitch better be in here every damn night. <laughs> but he's not. Let's us down. <clears throat> I'm joking. I'm joking. Annette is usually in here. Yeah, there's no Annette tonight, which is weird. Maybe she didn't get the notification. Or maybe she's sleeping. Uh, we've been together for almost 16 years. Goddamn prison sentence. What do you think? Love your makeup. You mentioned... What? You mentioned changing it? Uh, changing the colors. I might... Because... The headbands I change every night. I make a brand new one every single day. And I think if I started messing around with the colors of my face, like the stripes, maybe give whatever color the headband is, maybe give some of that color polka dots inside of it. I don't know. Maybe change the color of the heart. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> Chuck King said, I'm currently down 75 pounds, literally by watching calories and moving around more. Good for you, Truck King. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. Very cool. I bet you feel great. And now that you got a, a nice big chunk of weight off of you, I bet 75 you even, pounds is huge. That's, yeah. That's a, an accomplishment. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it, it probably has you even more motivated because you drop 75 pounds and whatever, you, whatever your initial goal is, let's say it's 100 pounds, I got 25 more to go. Uh, also, I watch your videos on the treadmill. It helps me. Awesome. Awesome. Keep being you, pal. We love you guys. Thank you, Callie. Mm -hmm. Pups. 100%, Court. Once you get your mind right, it really gets easier. Once you, see, once you start seeing success, that's when mm -hmm. you... When, when you initially start to see that what you're doing is working, that is like a adrenaline shot right right into your your uh, your butt it's gonna just
push you and keep you going. Hello, Liddy. Uh, Hello, Liddy. Because it feels Lydia. so good. I remember, you know, I remember when I, I first started losing the weight. And every week I was seeing that scale go down. Seeing that scale go down. I'm like, holy crap. And, and that's why it, it happened so quick for me. Because it was like... Back then, when I first started losing weight, I wasn't weighing myself every day like I do now. It was once a week. I was like, I was looking forward to the scale. And five pounds here, four pounds here, seven pounds here, you know, two pounds. Sometimes the scale would move and it would feel like an eternity until I weighed myself again. But that first, for me, 75 pounds to six months went by super quick. Because we were yeah. doing this, we we had something to do every single night. You remember? I mean, listen, we were in a small little apartment, but it was nice. That it wasn't was, small. No, no, no. It was compared to this. It was mm-hmm. well compared to the house we live in now. Yeah, it was small, but like what we lived in was not small for What's like up, John? the four of us. It wasn't small. Can you read that cat from Cali Pup? What is your opinion on keto? I struggled for years and lost 28 pounds in 18 months. Balancing. Well, you have to do what works for you. And I have no problem with keto. I have no issues with any diet. I think everybody's different. And I think, oh, I know everybody's different. And I think you have to find what works for you. If you could do keto and you like it, more power to you. And it works for you. You're happy doing it. More importantly, you have to be happy doing what you're doing. You can't just do something to lose the weight because yeah. then you're not going to be happy doing it. You have to want to do it. You have to. You make have it. to want to do it. More importantly, it'll be a lot easier if you make it a lifestyle change and not something you feel like you have to do. And Alice, that's the reason I am not stepping on scale. There's apparently this new diet called the liver diet. I don't like liver, so that's not going to work. First for me. of all, I'm not going to do that. Number one. Number two, I'm not stepping on a scale. And I said this, guys, in the past. I am not stepping on a scale. I'm going to exercise and count my calories and do what I need to do. But I'm not stepping on a scale because I don't want a number to define me. I don't want to be like, oh, this is my number, where I am now. And this is where I want to be. I don't want to do that. I want to get to a point where I feel just good regardless of the number on the scale. I just want to feel good about myself and feel good about what I'm doing. Not about a freaking number. I'm not thank worried about gifts. it. No, thank you for the gifts. I don't want to worry about a damn number. A number is a number regardless. I'm still the same person whether I'm 200 pounds or I'm 120 pounds. It doesn't really freaking matter. I just want to feel good. Yeah. That's well, it. If you're someone that weighs yourself and like you said, you get discouraged because the scale Yeah, I would get discouraged move. just weighing myself. I don't want to. You'd be surprised if you weighed yourself. Like if you weigh yourself every Saturday at, at noon and then the scale <laughs> doesn't move, weigh yourself Sunday night and then see how much of a difference the scale can fluctuate in one day. I would leave a Sunday, no, I would leave a weekend at 200 pounds and then by Monday afternoon I'm back down to, one, I would be down like 195. Day 90, what's the red juice? Yes. Calorie surprise. count. Another good question. It's, Ooh, can't it's, reveal that either. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you that it's, it's, it's low. <laughs> it's low, spread out between how long it takes me to drink it. I eat everything. <laughs> yeah, quark, trust me, I know. I need carbs too, man. I need carbs. Carbs, carbs, and more carbs. I can't survive without carbs. I really can't. I agree, Khaki, now that I am where I want to be, but not, yeah, I get that. If I were to drink... I don't want to be defined by a damn number. Sorry, I just don't want to. If I were to drink what the juice consists of in one sitting, it would, it would be the equivalent of drinking a, you know, a, a real Gatorade or... Um, I don't know the difference between calories and Gatorade and soda, but um, they're yeah. com- uh, they're up there. Number wise, I don't know. I haven't looked at the back of a calorie or a soda in a long time. I never. Well, did. I believe a sixteen ounce soda is like two hundred and thirty calories, if I'm correct, or it's a twenty four ounce soda. 
I can't remember. But I know what's up there. Oh, that was the sweet cup. That was the best bite I just took. Mm. I'm unlocking the secret. Oh, no, the red not. juice. <laughs> you may think you are. I could give you little hints <laughs> and answer the questions that you ask me every single night. And at the end of the day, when it comes to knowing what exactly is inside that um, little bundle of joy, you won't get it. Because you wouldn't expect the stuff that's <laughs> in there to be in there. There's a little garden gnome near the pool in Jamie's backyard that makes the juice, he told me. Damn, Court, why you gotta re reveal the damn secrets? That damn garden gnome told you, you the truth. about the sugar-free syrup? Lily. He's about to, you know, go in the trash can now. Don't give you the bathroom issues. And syrup, best thing is just going with real maple. I'm using a light syrup, John, which isn't horrible. That wasn't light. I'm using regular syrup. <laughs> regular. Um, the Albert Einstein of red juice knowledge. Well, Albert. <laughs> the Albert Einstein of red juice knowledge. Good luck. Think real hard of your question tomorrow night if you pop in. Yeah, surprise. It's been a while, but thank you for coming back. It's been a while since you've been here. Real maple syrup. You know what I've never tried? I've never went and got the real Canadian syrup. Hello, Dennis Brady. What's happening, brother? How are you doing tonight? Oh, hello, Dennis. How are you? You know what I mean? Like the real high-calorie Canadian syrup? Top shelf stuff? Yeah. I can't. That's too sweet for me. I could do it. I definitely could do it. The only reason I wanted French toast tonight is because I came Maybe home. Maybe like and, a little bit. I came home and I started eating Doritos. You know what's funny? You ate all the Doritos. Yeah, I finished Or someone went looking for the Doritos. Because he, he knew they were there. And he wanted some with some guacamole and you ate them all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like log cabin? My friend's family has syrup farm in Vermont. Really? That's cool, Stacy. A, a syrup farm. The syrup syrup doesn't come from a tree, does it? Does syrup come from a tree or a plant? Syrup, I thought, was like, I don't know, sap from a plant, but I could be wrong. It's mm, a good question. Someone's going to know it. Uh, well, the yeah, trees, the trees make, make it. it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like sat from a tree. Mm -mm. It does. It comes from a tree. Mm -hmm. Maple tree. <clears throat> okay. Makes sense. Hence the name maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> a tree. It's Guys, sat some, from a tree. Sometimes I'll ask questions, and if you've been in here before, you know this, like. Did he? Did that motherfucker just really ask a stupid question like that? How many? And it's listen. I do it all the time to my mom and Kagi, and they kind of just look at each other and then look at me. Like, is he serious? Uh, how do you two? <laughs> I've had some. I've had some some pretty uh, bad moments on here. What's up, C West? Hello, C West. There was a point in time where Jimmy asked me, who puts the water in the refrigerator? Yes, that was a serious <laughs> question. I know it was. That's why I don't laugh. You know, sir, <coughs> most refrigerators... Who refills the refrigerator when it runs out of water? <laughs> I can't. Oh my God, that had my mom in tears. You know the button that you put your cup in and then the water comes out? I said it. I've said it. I was doing it one day. And I looked at my mom and I looked at my dad and I looked at Kat. I'm like, hey, when this one runs out, who, how do you refill it? Who refills it? it? <laughs> that might take the cake. True story. Oh, my God. I think I died laughing. I think I almost peed my pants that day. Yeah. It's just like there's a line. That goes into the back of the refrigerator that gives it water, and then, like, there's a filter, it comes out of it. Yeah. Who refills the refrigerator? My mom laughed, Kaki laughed, my dad looked at me Kelly like. My aunt laughed hard, too. Yeah, my cousin laughed. <laughs> my dad kind of just looked at me like, he's not serious, is he? Like, in shock. 
and I'm looking like I just I look like I got shit coming out of my nose and I'm like I got what am I supposed to do I just kind of like um, I don't know who refills the refrigerator I was just like what I can't <laughs> Don't get me started on the ice maker. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Who refills the ice maker? You didn't know cucumbers. Somebody has to. John didn't know cucumbers were pickles. Oh, yeah. Cucumbers are pickles. Yeah. That's why. What's up, Jeff? I love cucumbers and I love pickles. They're delicious. You should see what I could do with a box of donuts. <laughs> I, could, I could just eat donuts until cows come home. Easy peasy. Give me a box of like Dunkin' Donuts. I wouldn't do that. But I could. hopefully Jimmy remembers to fill the blinker fluid. No, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Oh my god. You know what I here's something that I don't think I've ever told you. This is before I, w I started driving. So you know how in order to turn left, you, you click the, the blinker? Yeah. I, I, rem I remember seriously thinking, because I always would see my mom flip, it, flip the thing when she was turning right or left. I'm like, if you decided not to flip the switch, depending on what turn you go, will a car not turn? And she looked at me, she goes, you, you, she didn't understand because of how stupid it was. I wasn't, because I wasn't a driver. I had no idea. You thought the car turned itself? No. Like, almost like a lock. Like, can you not turn the car unless you put the blinker on? I wasn't sure. Guys, I was young. I was like 13, though. 12, 13, something like that. Maybe 10. You wear jogging lights. Yo, yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Real. No. Okay. Kaki got me a headlamp. Adios mio. Actually, my brother got you a headlamp. Uh, yeah, Kaki's brother got me this running light that goes on my head. And then I died, and then I, I ordered him a different one that came with two different ones that you recharge. Yeah, and then they both died too, so now I just run in the dark. It's summertime, so by the time I get home, it's just getting dark. Your contact. Amazing. I always love the color lights. Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. What kind it may be? Hold on. I missed that. Inverted box, Jamie. The powder on the... Remember to use blinkers. Yeah, a lot of people don't use blinkers. I do. I drive like an old lady. I I remember to use blinkers all the time. There's people that I'm just like, where are you going? What are you doing? You asked Kat how I drive. Ask my mom how I drive. I'm a very slow driver. I don't like to go fast. I, on the other hand. That's why I get cut off all the time. I drive faster than Jamie does. But yeah. I don't drive like an asshole. I don't drive I get like cut that. off. I get beeped at all the time. And then if I get the chance to, because sometimes I do, meet them at the light, they're going to look over when they oh, know yeah, they just no. cut me off when I just... Look at them. I'm really mad. I might give one of the the birds nonchalant. Here's the funny thing. While I'm driving in the car, like hey, I'm Natalie. usually going the speed limit, like maybe five miles, maybe ten miles over the speed limit, and that goes this bump and goes whoosh past me at like seventy. Guess what? We pull up the light together, and I kind of like look over. <laughs> And the kids already know. I'm like, oh, you beat me to the red light. And I don't have to even say anything because, like, yeah. I'm usually saying it because I see the light in the distance turning red. I'm like, oh, they beat me to the red light, guys. They win. <laughs> and, like, we pull up and even the kids are laughing <laughs> at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so I, like, make a joke out of it. So, like, we kind of look over at them and laugh. Oh, I... I... I, I don't even, like, make it, like, a big thing, like an angry thing. I just kind of laugh at them, like... That's what you get for speeding past me. You were stuck at the same red light, my friend. Haha. <laughs> Joke's on you. I always hope that the cop, <laughs> the cop sees them and they get pulled over. Yeah, well, they don't. Ever. That never happens. 
yeah. Two I'm more. like I make a joke out of it, and the kids always laugh. Two more bites. So, before we end this, here's what I will tell you that would have made this better. As soon as these came out, put a nice slice of butter on each one. Let the butter melt over the syrup. Ooh, and the minced donuts. Those are always good. Depends on the That would have made this though. better. Still a number nine. Get out of here. No. You get nothing. Mr. Rope Rope. You get nothing. No. I thought it was funny. One day there was a semi in and front of me and a cop passed me and got in front of the semi and somebody passed by me. Going with 110. <laughs> Yeah, you guys see his snout? Yeah, you see the dog. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Lucky dude. Yeah, he's become my buddy. Well, you know, when we got the puppies, he was not my favorite. He's definitely my favorite now. He's been my favorite for he like a was, couple weeks. Well, he was Kaggy's original favorite. He was my favorite. And he's still my favorite. Uh, but uh, Abby. Abby. Yeah, all of our She's dogs such are a good little puppy. I love her. They're all sweet. <laughs> I love Abby. Her. Abby, oh, um, ho, hello. Hello, my friend. No, you can't have any of that. Uh, does anyone remember the government cheese they gave you back in the day? You can't lick that. Big block of four square cheddar. Her here, Wahlburgers was the cheese on their burgers. Oh, I don't I remember, even know. I remember the Donnie burger, right? It said, uh, no buddy. it said government cheese. All right, you ready for bed? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good rest of your night. You you Have a good rest of your night. We'll, we'll be back tomorrow and do it again. All right, you gotta get down. I have to get up. Good, good. But you didn't give me any food. I know, but I can't move because it's pause. Get down. Watch out, buddy. Come on, and get there. down. And there goes the lava monster. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night, guys. He is a lava monster. Lava monster from the...